welcome to episode 99 of Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. And this week in the Retro Lounge, we're going to be looking at homebrew games again. Similar, similar to last week's, where we were looking at hacks of existing games. These are games that have been created by people at home, brewed, you might say, at home. Um, and you may see games you kind of recognise, but they're never for the system that we'll be emulating them on tonight. So, shall we kick it off? Uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have a game from the Atari VCS, but it was never on the Atari VCS. This is called Hunchy Two, but I can't play it here, can I? I need to be over there in that screen. So let's just do that now. Whoop. There we go. So, Hunchy 2. For the Atari VCS. Um, never played it. Not sure what I'm supposed to do. We might be turning that sound down. Okay, let's have a look. Okay. Do I have to get to the bell then? It ended when I got to the bell. Oh, okay. It's a collector bell and avoid the blue thing. Is it going to reset me right back to the start? No, it's not. So, the only way of getting that belt is by doing that. Assume it comes down row by row. Oh, nearly. Um, okay, because sometimes you plug in a Atari VCS game and you think, what? The actual hell, gosh, should I be doing? Is that a ladder that I can... Nope. I don't know if they've got any sort of... Pattern. I can't, I can't see a pattern. Oh no. Am I trapped? I might have trapped myself then. Yo, Night Cluster, welcome to the chat room. Oh, you've resubscribed again with real money. Thank you. You can be like Nutty Cluster if you like. Help help the show out by uh, subscribing. Um. So how am I supposed to get to that? Oh oh, that way. Oh, toss pots. Um. Mm -mm. So as I was saying, yes, sometimes you plug in a, an Atari VCS game and you're like, what the actual F am I supposed to be doing here? Um, so at least, at least this one's quite easy to understand. Oh no. So, how do we know? Balls. How do we know where the bell's gonna be? See, so should I be getting Esmeralda? I can't get off there, so. So as we've just had the blue ones scrolling along the bottom, you think that we should be able to... Ooh, see? See, there's no rhyme or reason. Or if there is, I can't see it yet. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sure I missed... I didn't get all... all the bells? Don't bother him then. Oh, I have to go all that way. Oh, getting sloppy now, aren't I? Can I get up there? Nope. I finally I hadn't stopped. Can I do it? Can I get across? Can I get across in time? Ooh. Look, I think we've seen enough of Hunchy 2. Um, played on the Atari 2600 on VCS. Let's move along, shall we? Let's move to the Atari Lynx. We don't, we don't often play Atari Lynx Lynxies either. Um, where is it? It's this one. So, Atari Lynx. What size screen is it? Would it be all right on the big screen, do we reckon? Let's have a look. Yeah, it is kind of widescreen. But the Lynx is set for a small, like a smaller screen, so this could be quite pixely. Let's see. Boom. I don't know. I think you'd be all right. I think you'd be all right. This is called Atomics. Well, it's called Atomics on the file name, but obviously that screen says Atomic. So let's see what happens, shall we? Oh. Oh. Oh, is that all it is? Is that all it is? Oh. I don't know. What do we what are we doing now? Am I supposed to Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. Right. Okay. I see. So I'm supposed to make that little shape on the left. Left bottom, aren't I? How am I going to do that? As soon as I can't, I can't make them stop halfway through it has to go from one wall to the other so this one is going to go all the way to there which means uh, this one's going to go all the way to the other side so uh, all right Let's try this. Yeah, I think that should work. Drop this one down. Run this one across. 
And assuming we think we understand the game, that should have been it, should it not? Should that not be it? Oh, oh, are they, are they? Oh, oh, I think they're one-sided. <sighs> How irritating, right, okay. So, so that one needs to come to this side. Oh, God damn it. That one needs to go. Where does that need to go? It needs to go out of the way, doesn't it? can't go right back to where it was have I have I balked this beyond all saving let's move it out of the way let's move this one out of the oh oh okay I might I might whoop whoop there you go Leslie right so have we got it I feel I've got it right. But it's not, I mean, is there a, do I have to let go of it? I don't, nope. Um, okay, what a pile of pants. I I, 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 I've got blue, red, blue, like it says. Why, why can I select? Well, I can't select as it turns out, but... I mean, do I, do I need to move them all up a little bit? No. Okay. I don't know, then. I don't, I don't... I don't know what that is. Yeah, I think it is scratched. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Naughty Cluster. I think it's scratched. Um, this could be one of those games where maybe you're watching it on YouTube and you're like, oh, you you knobhead. You, you need to do this, that and the other. And if you do know, then please email us or message under this video on YouTube or on Twitch, or anywhere. Just message us, tell us what we're doing wrong, and we'll do a quick revisit at some point. Because I I felt that I knew what I needed to do, and I've done it. I In fact, I did it both ways, and it's still not right. So, so anyway, that's Atomic, or Atomics, um, for the Atari Lynx. So maybe this is a port of a game. Somebody knows how to play Atomics, the different game on a different system. And you can say, oh, uh, the knee all need to be in the top left of the maze or summit. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on. We could, we could have a whole episode um, that's a bit like this because I don't really know any of these games. And I, I did open some games earlier on that, um, well, let's just say they weren't family friendly. And, um, yeah, so I, I have, I have looked at most of these. There's one that I haven't done, but I've got my fingers crossed it'll be all right. Um, so let's move on swiftly, shall we? We're going to move on to a game called Crazy Zone. And we're moving into Game Boy. Game Boy Colour era. 
actually, if we're on Game Boy Color, let's go to Game Boy. Um, I'll tell you what, if I make this bit smaller. Wow, look how, look at the difference in size. Cheapest. So, um, crazy zone. What is it we ask ourselves? Let's push start and find out. Green Valley. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, here we go. Oh, flappy birds then. Oh, oh, it's not flappy because I don't have to flap. Well, there's certainly tube things. So this, um, I think we've played a game with these sorts of, uh, this ship I recognise from somewhere. Yeah. Oh, did. Oh, right back at the start. I hate that. But you guys know that. Yeah, it chased me. Okay. Okay. That's fine. We'll try again. Were there any options? It's a homebrew game, so I'm not expecting options. No options, just push start. Do we have different button? Nope, just a fire button. Oh, where's my fire button? There it is. Arse. Um, that's a good point, actually. There's no audio. I don't want to turn it up just in case, but... Oh, I've turned it right up. No audio. That's a little weird, isn't it? Hmm. Perhaps it's difficult. Audioing. Oh, I was so excited that I could blow up a bomb that I blew myself up. Come on, we've got to give it another go, haven't we? Got to try once more. It does say music and FX. So why am I not getting any FX? Or music, for that matter. Although, you know, this is, these are the sorts of things that you get. It's a homebrew game, you can't expect perfection. Spiked myself.
Yeah. Oh. Can we get them? I didn't think so. Dag nabbit. <sighs> well, look, it keeps putting you back to the start. We've seen what sort of game it is. That was made for the Game Boy. Game Boy Color. And we're going to stay with the Game Boy. And maybe our next game might have sound. I know, right? Um, it's called Pocket Panic by the same group of people. So... Let's see if that's uh, any music clear. Uh, what did I say? It was called Pocket Panic. That's like when you've left a tenner in your jeans and they've gone in the wash. Pocket Panic. Right, let's see. What have we got here? Yeah, silence still? No. Come on. Oh, all right. We've got audio now. So what is it we're doing? Oh, we're dying horribly. At least we've got audio. Right. I don't want to do that. Oh no. Um, so this feels like load a bit a bit load runnery. I'm saying load, not road. So I zoom in. Okay. Oh, how do I jump and move it out oh, like that? Okay. Shit. Oh, why did oh? I was gonna say, why did I die? Why did I die? Now I know why I died. Can't get there quick enough to do that, so shit. Is it gonna follow me down it? Yes. Okay. So I need to is it a baby? need to get so is that a baby or something then all right was that it kick the baby Is 
Is that it? Yes. Raw. Okay. So yeah, weird, weird, low runnery sort of. Okay, one down. Is that it? Alright, that seemed easier that round than the first round. Poop. Oh! Me. My little turtle baby. Little turtle baby. Got too carried away then, didn't I? Bet there's uh, there's no level selectors there. No, start at level one. Come out there, little shit. Oh no. I've dug too many holes. Too many holes on the dance floor. Oh no 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 no! gonna drop another robot on his head but that didn't work killed me instead Baby, come here. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Nearly blew up the turtle baby. That wouldn't have gone down well, would it? Baby, oh, not fast enough. Need a freaking playpen for that. 
bloody thing. Come on, come this way. Come this way. That's it. Uh, all right there you go pocket panic pocket panic for um for the game boy color uh let's go to the first game that i haven't looked at yet um i've opened a window but then i covered it with something else i haven't seen it um and depending on what it is you YouTube people might not see it either, but let's let's find out, shall we? It can't how bad can it be? It's on the Game Boy. How bad? This is called Repugnant Bounty. And I thought, you know what? It's not often you see um a game that's got repugnant in its uh in its name. So, we'll see. Oh, 2023. Holy moly. That's, that's how new this homebrew game is. Uh, let's have a look, shall we? Check, check out the settings first. There, there are no settings. Just clear data. All right. Let's go for it. Pugnant Bounty. I quite like bounties actually. The bounty taste of coconut. Sorry. Lots of words. Can't skip past them don't think no I mean I know it's not repugnant bounty's fault it doesn't know that we don't like long stories in our games and no control and not the ability to skip them or any shit like that but come on it wins points for 50s um, Jetsons spaceship noise 60s I guess That's me. Let's get out of the raid. Oh, it's still raining. I don't feel... Right, I, I can only jump at the moment. Oh, what's that? What's that? Can't do anything with it. If it looks like why is it why is it different? Why is it there? It's like oh you you, you are something. Oh, secret door. What's this? Well, see what is it? Oh, it just stops me from going back.
Oh no! Have I got a bloody inventory now? All right, so I do. I've got a now got an attack. So are these attackable? No, no. Now that feels risky to me. That little drop off the bottom. I'm just gonna have a look this way first. Well, I mean, it's all atmospheric and everything, but it's just a walky roundy at the moment, isn't it? Oh, so I need to get something to get through that. Can't go that way. So I've got to climb all the way back up here now, like a dickhead. It's not bad looking, is it really, considering it's Game Boy? I mean, yes, it's Game Boy with plenty of years of um, knowledge on the programming and stuff. Um, so, but yeah, it's kind of cool. No, rack off your dag. That's where I came in, isn't it? So, there is the option, is there the option to go higher? Not like this, is not. Yeah, there is. Oh, hello, springs from salt. How are we doing? Good to see you, to see you good. Right, what does this do? Uh, nothing? I see. So, then. I'm surprised I've not run into anything to hit with my sword yet. Oh, stop being so slidey. So, those of you who um, watch on YouTube and you see the chat appearing and you're like, what on earth is Spring Some Salt talking about singing? Um, if you don't watch the um, the Snug Live on YouTube, um, then you'll be quite confused. But Springs from Salt sp sings on almost every single Snug. So, oh tits! Oh no! Oh oh! 
Um, so that's what she's talking about. I can't believe I've just gone all the way back down. Oh, oh. The, the game's going super, thanks, Springs. Why do I hit the roof? <sighs> okay, and I need to move right to the edge. There we go. That's bad. Well, this is... Well... Oh, continue! I'm gonna go the other direction and see what happens. Continue drops you right back at the start. Oh, I'm going the other direction. Drops you straight into a dead end. Rebel scum. Okay, were there other choices? Were there other options to make? I don't think so. So, the only option here is down. There are no side options that I can see, no. So we, we have to go back to where we... Where we died horribly. Just bloody another one of these characters who's got like physics behind them, they slide off if you're not careful. Dag nab it. caught. There we go. So now we have to avoid the spiky things. He says falling straight into the spiky things. God damn it. Why? Why did it do that? Right, what's that in the roof? Is that going to get me? No. Oh, what's in there for me? Oh, it's led me into somewhere I can't get out. I can't get out. Right, what's the score here now then? What? I only have jump and hit, so... And I can't hit any of these things. So I've jumped all the way across there for no reason. So, all my entrances are blocked. And I know you can take chemicals for that, but this can't be it. It can't have dragged me all the way along here. It bloody has. Oh, I can't even bash my way through. 
Um, repugnant bounty. It's quite, quite pleasant looking for, um, for a Game Boy game. Well, I don't mind it. Except it's just, uh, irritatingly confusing. Anyway, we're moving on to the big boy consoles now. So we're going to move on to the big boy telly. Um, there we go. And we're going to move to the NES. The NES. And we're going to play a game. Um, I was uh, uh, bemused by its title. I was like, what on earth could this be? This is called Alison of Astra. Alison doesn't go Hawaiian. And I did wonder, partially, if Hawaiian was just some new version of Brazilian. Um, and I've got my fingers crossed that it's not, but we're going to have a look at, uh, at this, whatever this is, this thing. Um, okay, so... Uh, why does my controller not work all of a sudden? It was working fine before. Yeah, it's set right. Okay. I'll tell you what, let's just do a reset just in case. Just in case it's that. Okay. Is this is this is this all it is? I haven't I haven't controlled this lady yet. She's controlling herself. Oh, meanwhile, meanwhile, oh, we've got some game. Uh, some blokes got a, an internship. Oh, nice. Okay, that's me. I am controlling that. We've got anything good to say? Nope. Okay. Oh, I have to stop the... Uh... There we go. Uh, right, so that was pointless talking to these people. I mean, is there any point... Here then. Is this just a story where I just move things around every now and again? Claudia Kitchy. Never mind, never mind, I can't do it. Never mind, oh, okay. Hmm. 
Oh, she's not saying anything. Oh. To walk with her, it looks like he's not walking, so perhaps she, perhaps she should. Oh, let's not get in front of her. Who knows what might happen? Oh, what's going on? Do you know how to operate this machine? Well, there's a big red button on it, so I assume. controlling this so I don't have any choice uh -oh. one assumes as I, if I'm not controlling it it's not gonna cut my head off right can't have done anything wrong oh there you go oh shit well that's not gonna go well is it what are you meanwhile him for? <laughs> Dead end. What's this? Robo hobo. Spare some gasoline. Hmm. Right. So that feels to me like priority is get some gasoline. <coughs> Excuse me. What the bloody hell's that? High archivist or archivist. Everybody remember horseradish turbine linguini. I feel like I've taken something chemically. I feel how springs from snow feels uh, springs from salt. Sorry, spills all the time. I guess that would be bad for me if it hit me. I'm not risking it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, why did you buy a rock when you could just buy? It? Yes, there probably was a better option. Yes, you're right, Alison. You're right. Well, now what? We go left and right. Can we do that? No, we can't. We can't go right. We can go left. Just one minute. Oh, what did, did, can we read that? Robot poster.
Alright, let's try again. I, I, I mean... What's this? A policeman bot. Oh, that explains it. Well, that solves that then. We can't go left and right. I mean, I'm gonna. Oh. What is that? It's not running me over, and I can't talk to it. So, have we come to the end of the things we can try? Well, yes, we've come to the end of the things we can try. this person here pointless okay so not only now am I super confused I can't see that there's anything to do that's the save game portal isn't it Can't talk to that anymore. All that. Don't have gasoline for this fella. Oh, what are we supposed to do? Alright, no, that's not changed. Can we try it? This is the only thing we've not interacted with, but I can't... Oh! Whoa! Got it. And it was pointless. Alright. Um... I don't... I don't know what else to, to try. I mean, I say if we. Oh, excuse me. If we talk to these people, we get the same thing. Um. I think we might have to turn it off and stop. Okay, I've tried all the buttons. And I've tried all the buttons on that. So... We're never going to know what this is all about. Because we've got such a limited scope and we've tried everything, I don't know what else to to do. Um, balls. Again, if you know this this game or whatever it is, um, then let us know. Let us know in the comments or mail us or you know something. Um, and maybe we'll revisit it one day. But for now, we're going to move on. Um, we're going to move on to a Master System game. And again, we never get around to Master System stuff, really. Um, I skipped the Master System. I think I collect visioned until I got a Mega Drive. Um, 
which will have been also around the time that I got into PC gaming as well and kind of skipped a bunch of consoles. Um, so, uh, let's have a look at a Master System homebrew game. And it's called Digger Chan. And I have nothing else to say on the title. Um, we have our fingers crossed. That Because uh, obviously, homebrew games haven't been through rigorous um, political correctness screening by big corporations who want to, uh, who don't want to get roasted on Twitter. They're just games that people have made. Generally, they're fine. So let's find out what APOC has given us with uh, Digger Chan. Whatever it is, it's really slow. Ooh, 2006 SMS Power Coding Competition. There you go. Right. Some sort of colour matching game then. Press start. Is start actually start or is it one of the other buttons? No, it's one of the other buttons. Okay. So I have I have a time limit. Which button is the oh is that the one? Yeah. Wait. So I remove colours and do something to get my time up, I guess. Uh, I get that milk. Do we think? Yes, we do. So, is it just get as far down as you can without dying? Ooh, removed a lot then. Okay, weird. Uh, another game that doesn't have sound. So I think I'm... Is this the end of the level? It is. Okay. Why have we got no sound? Is this just another game that doesn't have any sound? I mean, does it... Uh, it does, a couple of sound effects would have been nice, but... Feels like the start button changes every time. I mean, we may as well just go straight down the middle. Ah, I see walls. I see walls. Not seeing any milk yet, though. So it might be quicker to... Is it quicker to fall than um, remove the blocks? Oh, I see. Now it gets getting like, oh, now I have to think about what I'm doing. Running out of milk. Okay. Oh, is this an ice version? Oh, it is. Yeah, slidey, slidey ice. Oh no! Going to be blocked from the milk.
Right. Can't go back up for it. Oh, now. Cheeky. Right. Oh, how am I going to get past that? Is there a jump? I don't have a... Oh. Oh, happened as there is. Out of milk. Out of milk. So that milk was on the left, wasn't it? So let's go down. Let's head that direction. Come on. Okay. Uh oh. There's no way out. I'm trapped. <sighs> I have to wait to run out of milk. So we go down the left and then we have to come across to the right because it looks to me like the only way through is to the right. And it's just one passage. Okay. Right, so we need to head over this direction now, don't we? Because we don't want to do that again. Does it show you enough to know that that's coming, though? I suppose if you're concentrating, maybe. Ah, oh, more milk. Am I going to get there in time? Yes, I am. Okay. So we must be getting to the bottom of this, are we? Uh, let's, uh, let's, go, let's go this way. Just have a hunch. Okay, still so far so good. Not getting rid of a lot of these all at once though, are we? We're gonna run out of milk if we're not careful. Oh, oh, will we get to that milk before it? Phew. God, how deep is this? I expected to have ended by now. Said the address to the vicar. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's so far down. I'm gutted. Proper, proper gutted. I fell into a pit and I can't get out. I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh, oh, oh no. Come on. Just jump out. Jump out. Go on. Jump out. Against all rational expectation. Just jump out. Look, it's waving. It's there. Help me. Oh, bollocks. I don't really want to do all that again. It went on too long. Um, look, there you go. That was Digger Chan. By APOC. Oh, well. Uh, let's move on to the Mega Drive, shall we? The Mega Drive. This is 
Nutty Clusters, number one favourite ES console. Um, so, this is a game called Coffee Crisis. Coffee Crisis. Let's see, what have we got? Oh, okay. We've got options. Let's have a look. Difficulty. Easy. Yes. Yes. You monster. You monster. You monster. Okay. Um. Turn it down a tiny, tiny bit. Right. So I, I guess I'm I'm Nick, then. Yinza. We're stealing our Wi-Fi, bitches. Smurnet. Okay. Where are your manners? What, what have I got? What are my options? I've got a jump. Space vagina. Okay. I don't feel like, like I've got a very good weapon. Demon blend. Oh, here we go. Grab and uh, uh, yeah, okay. I wonder if those buttons are the same as. Uh... All right, so my buttons are mapped slightly different. You see, you'd think you'd be able to pick them up, wouldn't you? Right, the top buttons don't do anything. get more beans? No. I seem to carry on going. I don't... I have jump and I have swipe with bag which doesn't fill me with confidence. I don't know. Shoulder but act shoulder button action. Sorry, love. Oh, don't know what that is. 
Say look, baseball bat, right. How do I pick it up? Like that. Alright. Oh, and then I drop it straight away. Oh, that's not good, is it? Stay facing one direction. Maybe I can't pick it up once I've used it. He don't face the right way, do they? See, Naughty Cluster might appreciate this game. She's a bit alien freaky. Nice if I just had unlimited continues. Not even any goodies. Oh, that's not fair. Oh, space vagina. What's we doing? supposed to be able to do a super hit oh well um there you go that's coffee crisis by mega cat 
that's all right for a, a Mega Drive game, isn't it? That's uh, coffee, coffee and alien based, which uh, it works for both uh, me and Nutty Cluster. Um, I do the coffee, she does the aliens. Cool. Um, I mean, we might come back to that at some point. Just because I liked it rather than uh, not being able to play it. <laughs> um, right. Sticking with the Mega Drive, we're going to have a look at a game called Tanglewood. Which one would assume was set in a tangled wood. Big evil cop. Well, that's always a good sign. Okay, let's go. Oh. Not controlling this. This must be setting and story. Well, that's not what you want while you're sleeping, is it? Hello, I've got control. Right, what have we got? Just a jump. Like that. Do we collect these? Yes, we do. Is there another one there or is that a leaf? Just a leaf. Okay. Oh, shit. Which way do we go? We go this way. Oh, so do I need to stay in the trees? Doesn't look to be any higher anywhere to go there, does it? Can I jump? Is there a? Oh, oh, hello. Okay. Uh... Yeah, let's stay in then. Now, what is the point? Am I supposed to be collecting fiery things? There's no on-screen. Dubri, what's it to suggest anything else? So I assume I'm collecting the bits. Oh, what's that? It's a runny away thing. Oh, what did that? Why was that noise? Why is that? What's that? What is it? Looks like a reading lamp over a hole. And yet I can't go down that hole. Why, why, what, 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 what? So. Oh, there's a yellow thing, what's that? It went, is it a, a, a waypoint? Don't know, but I can't do anything with it. Can I do anything with it? It's making chirpy noises. Oh, right now, now. What have we got here? We've got a, a um, do we, do, uh, um, do we push it that way? I mean, I'm only pushing it this way because I can't think of any, any what are we supposed to be doing now? Perhaps we should follow it. 
So, do we put the debris on the... We do! Okay. Well, now what? Oh, what's that? Why have I turned golden? Because there's another one here. Turn golden at that one, though. I mean, it's it's relaxing. Oh, but I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. And I know, I know that's a normal thing. There's no need for you to say. Right. What? 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 What do you want? I can't push you. I can only change colours. I mean... I do feel like there's not a lot of... I don't know where else to go. Must be a different way. No, nope, we've been here before, haven't we? It's the, the, I mean, we're right back at the start, more or less. Yeah, right back at the start. So it's the almost. I wonder if this is actually a. A real game or just like a beta somebody was like here yeah, this is possible we've got this cute character let's do something with it there's no way of getting across there and it doesn't go any higher up higher up have done all you can do with this game. We're back here again. Right, why do I change gold? What what is the benefit of that? Is there any way off that? There isn't, is there? Just, there's nowhere to go. And this just takes us down to the sonic bouncer there, just sends us back. Look, it's nice animation. But I, I'm stuck. I don't. Right, Lino. Yes, yes. See, why? Why? Right. So you can die then. Then we're back at the start. Okay, I mean, oh, and I can't wake it up now. Oh, there we go. 
So, I mean, we've done we've done all there is to do with a Tanglewood. It's pretty. It sounds all right. But I think that's probably it. Which means we're on our last game. Um, and I don't think there's going to be... Well, who knows what's going to be in a, in a game called Blow Em Out. At least the last word is out. So, you know, bonus there, I suppose. Um, this is on the SNES. So, let's... Um, Let's blow them out, shall we? Right, jump and blow. Two of my favourite activities. Really? Is that it? Okay. Into the candle. Oh, and again, ticket. All right, all right, all right. Birthday to you. Going bigger. Somebody's taking the piss out of these titles, aren't they? I can't get up. There we go. Oh. Oh. Bastard. Do I start in the middle and work my way out? Get out of it, you little twat. Do you know what? It's a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. Keep walking, you little shit. I walked into it. It's my fault, that. Getting higher. Oh, piss off. Come on, jump away somewhere. Oh, jackass. You can't move left and right if you go up there. Oh, you see? All I did was turn one direction. No mess around that time. Oh, 
I'm gonna get these if it keeps doing that. Oh, how am I supposed to get up there if uh, both the trampolines? Both the trampolines are underneath. Oh, you slidey footed. Right, how am I supposed to get? I'm supposed to do it like that. That's how I'm supposed to do it. How, how do I get back down? Oh! Piss off. He's just a slippy footed little bastard. Don't jump on me. Oh, just leave me alone. Ah. Bit irritating. Icing, the icing on that cake must be really slippy. Do you know what? We've seen enough. We've seen enough. Gosh darn it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to finish. We're going to finish there. We've played uh, um, more than normal of our homebrew games for episode ninety nine. Um, now, ordinarily, ordinarily, we would spin the wheel to see what we were doing next week. But next week, the first game, the first Retro Lounge in March, it's Retro Lounge 100. So next week, we're playing... The games from episode one in reverse. Look at that, because zero zero one. One zero zero. Ah, oh, genius. Um so if you wanna know what games we're playing, then take a look back in the archives at show one. Actually don't. Bit embarrassing, it's a load of shite. Um we're gonna redo it. We're going to give it a shiny remix for show 100 and we're going to um, play all those games that we ch that I picked at random with nary a thought, no idea. Um, and we're going to see how we get on with that. So I think that'll do us for today. Uh, as always, you can email us retro at wrong direction at snugradio.co.uk retro at snugradio.co.uk that's also the website snugradio.co.uk and snug radio is um what we are all over the net if you're watching this live on twitch on a monday from seven o'clock thank you thank you very much um if you're watching the edited highlight but it's, it's actually the whole show just with odd bits taken out. Uh, if you're watching that on YouTube, then um, thank you. And you know that we're Snug Radio on both. How clever is that? Um, what else have we got? We're also on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok as, yes, Snug Radio. Um, Nutty Cluster, med moderator extraordinaire, has a red bubble and threadless shop called Inkyspiration where she does, um, when she's not in the middle of moving house, she does lots of designs and things for you to go and have a look at. There'll be a link in the show notes. I, too, 
do some the odd designing on Redbubble and on Threadless. Links also in the shop. In the shop. In the show notes. Um, what else is there? I think that's probably it. Uh, Discord. Yes, we have a Discord. And, um, you know, you can join us free there and chat. There's a retro lounge. There's some retro music chat. Retro telly. There's a little bit of um, AI art business going on. There's all sorts. All sorts going on. And um, also things related to our podcast that is coming up for 20 years old. It's a 20-year-old podcast. Um on radio show Snow Radio. Um, so without any further ado then, I should say goodbye. Um, I've been Math. This has been Snow Radio's Retro Lounge. Till next time, play something retro. Goodbye.